Hi guys, so have you ever been chatted up by the same sex and felt ever so uncomfortable that you just wish the floor would just swallow you up? Well, I have, and unfortunately it feels like it's on a regular basis. So yesterday I feel that I was vigorously molested by a man thinking that I was gay. I was walking down the escalator on the underground when a man in front of me decides to blow me some kisses. At this point I was quite confused whether or not he was being for real or if I was just making the whole thing up. So I then thought nothing of it walked onto the train and sat down and carried on with my daily train ride. The man unfortunately sits in front of me but thankfully goes to sleep. I finally arrive at my destination and I get up and I start sorting out my bag. The man then wakes up, leans over my shoulder and then whispers something into my ear. To which I then reply, I'm sorry but are you lost? He then again whispers very gently, I think you are really sexy and I wish to take you out sometime. With the shocked horror on my face, I politely said, Um, no thank you. <laughs> okay, thanks, bye. And darted out the door with my legs closely together. I then arrived at work puzzled and feeling quite vulnerable that I told my work colleagues of my ordeal, which they obviously found hilarious. Now fast forward halfway through the day when a man greets me shaking my hand and then asks me for help on his phone, which I gladly assist him. But then he says, Andy, I believe you messaged me. I was first startled how he knew my name, but then I figured I was wearing a name badge. And also the fact that he must have meant the company message him because it couldn't have possibly been me. So I simply replied to him, <laughs> What do you mean I've messaged you? He then goes through his apps on his phone and points to the app Grinder. For which of you have no idea is, it's a social media app where gay men can search each other within their surrounding location and meet up for joyous activities. With the most confused face I pulled, I replied, What? I didn't even message you, I'm not even on that. The man left confused and I'm sure upsetly embarrassed. I then referred to my work colleagues of not one but now two gay men hitting on me and thinking that I swing that way, which made me want to shower myself down. Not because of the fact that I have a problem with gay men, I have gay friends, but when it comes to a point when random men are blowing me kisses, whispering sexual thoughts and me being discovered on a gay dating application, I start to go a bit weak at the knees. After much pointing and laughing at me, I then discover that my friend set up a profile of me on Grindr. With my disbelief, I kindly gave her the back of my hand and let out a big sigh of relief. So thanks very much for that Sophie, because I know that you're watching. Aw, oh, isn't she cute? I will have my revenge. I will have my revenge. And then I said to her, you mean to say you message both of these two men that come up to me? To which she replied, no, I only messaged the one. Bitch. My heart sank again and I realised to myself what could have happened to me. Now, this isn't the first time I've been propositioned. I remember I was walking down the street and a creepy guy kept following me. I remember walking around corners and he kept swiftly trying to catch me up. I was quite worried, but then I thought I must have been making it up. He then finally comes up to me and slightly whispers at me. Again, I reply to him with a confused look on my face, but as usual, his timidness makes him whisper. I literally say to him, what the hell do you want? He then dropped the shyness and just came out with it. Do you want to go to the toilet and have some fun with me? <laughs> Now I'm not quite sure what kind of aura I'm giving off here because as much as I like being chatted up by guys I just wish that some women would come into that equation as well. Now I hope I'm not the only one who this happens to so please share your awkward experiences as well. And on that bombshell I'll see you next time guys. Bye! Click here to subscribe, you know you want to. <laughs> Don't forget to watch my previous video. Oh, and if you're into that whole social media thing, follow me on Twitter or just friend me on Facebook. You know, you don't have to. Okay, bye!